was the fourth edition of the Run to Fight Children's Cancer in Phoenix. We had about 3,000 plus uh, runners and walkers and we're estimating 4,500 to 5,000 people total. So it's our biggest attendance yet. We're very excited. We were here since 3.30 in the morning. We had volunteers helping with event setup. We had the whole field set up. We had all the water stations along the route. We had all the volunteers in place. Everyone was ready and excited. It's been months and months leading up to this. So it's finally the day. Everything could not have ran smoother. The Survivor's Walk was once again the focal point of the event and it was just a blast. We had the 5K and it felt like five minutes and people were still walking and walking and walking through the start line. So it was a sea of people, which is the greatest, uh, I think, stamp of approval on our event that we are making an impact in the community and this is that in that this is an event that people want and look forward to every year. The morning was crazy. It was a lot of people. Um, a lot of volunteers getting moved back and forth, but it was a very successful race today. I think a lot of people had fun. We've been working on it for a good four or five months now. After seeing the progress and seeing how well everything did turn out, it's rewarding. The course was nice because, you know, for people like me not in great shape, there's it wasn't hilly or anything like that. That was nice. People cheering was awesome because the other folks that were in the race, like the kids especially that were in the strollers or the ones that were running, they were so jazzed to have people like actually cheering for them and having signs and everything. So it looked really, uh, I don't know, it looked really organic. From what I saw, people were very excited. We saw a lot of people come in their team shirts, which is always really cool to see. We had, of course, uh, Jack Strikes Back. We had Team Olivia. We had Amazing Grace. We had all these other really large groups, a lot of teams that were here for the first time. We just had a lot of people excited today and I think everyone was just really ready to go. And once the festival started, I mean, that's really when the party happened. We had the DJ going, we had all this dancing, we had Bounce Boot Camp here with the jump castles and uh, PCH and CCN had the Survivors VIP tent, which was very cool for them. They also had arts and crafts for all the other runners and participants. So after all this, you know, planning and planning, and today you finally see all your hard work pay off. It's just the greatest reward to me, and I know to everyone that has had a hand in putting this event on, because it was truly a success today.